Hey everybody, old guy gamer here playing American Truck Sim. Before I jumped in, I thought I'd show you my mod. Real companies, gas stations and billboards. That's my only mod. Let me know what you use. Otherwise, hang on one sec. We'll play the game. Oh yeah, I forgot about my paint job. You know what? I probably need to drive trucks. Drive a different truck. Heck yeah, that's a good one. Let's do that one. Alright, before we even get started... Texas DLC has been released. I hurried up and bought it like the second it was released. Hoping if I put a couple videos out, people would search for it and it would be my big break. It was not. My road to f famedom was not in the Texas DLC. So, we're going back to work. That being said, You'll notice I did a uh, couple of videos in the Freightliner Cascadia that I own and keep in this garage right here in Eugene. I just pointed my thumb towards the garage over my left shoulder like you guys could see me for some reason. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Sorry. Anyways, I love that truck. It's really cool. It shows the paint jobs off well that I did for the Veterans Day. Um, and then I got some DLC rewards for some event. I don't remember what it was, but I did that cowgirl well, I forget what I called her. Some sort of rancher thing, theme with the red stripe down the middle. That was pretty cool looking truck, but that truck has 39,000 miles, that Freightliner, and it is my most driven truck in this game. I've never had that many miles on a truck. And I want this Peterbilt to be my most driven truck, so I had to hop out of the Kenworth and I had to hop out of that Freightliner and come back to the Peterbilt. Just put some more miles on this one. I did just break 10,000, if you can see right there in the odometer. I'm at 10,354. So I got 20,000 more miles to go before I can call this my most loved truck. That Cascadia actually has a driver's nameplate in the window that says OGG2. It is my second favorite truck. This is my first. I just haven't put a nameplate in this window yet. Probably won't. It's a day cab. I want it to be a working truck. I just stick it with the fancy paint job. Anyways, as you can see, I got rid of the pumpkin and the swinging bat tree dashboard. Doohickey. Back to the hula girl. Give me a sec, we'll get over there and we'll pick up this trailer. We're headed to Texas. We're in Eugene, Oregon. We're at the Napa Auto Parts in Eugene, Oregon. Let's see what we're taking. Glass from Oregon to Asuma, Texas. I've never... No, it's the Asuma is the name of the company. Okay, it's in San Antonio, Texas. That makes more sense. My goodness. I just woke up, people. I'm only halfway through my first cup of coffee. Cut me some slack. For some reason, I saw Asuma as a city name and not San Antonio, even though I've been to San Antonio. My bad. Boy, oh boy, during that um, the Veterans Day appreciation video that I did with the special paint job on that Freightliner Cascadia, I tried to drive outside from the third person perspective as much as I could. It uh, wasn't a disaster. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but it wasn't a disaster, so I'm going to call it a win. Now that I'm back in my normal truck with my fancy paint job, I might do some more third person driving today in this video. I am pretty happy with the way the company's doing this. IK Freight Company is making me a ton of money. I'll make over $100,000 on this job. I'll make six figures, uh, $116,000. Uh, but my company drivers will probably make me, not probably, they will definitely make me way more money in that same amount of time. Got over 60 drivers now. I had $2 million in the bank at one point. And I just said, screw it, and went and bought a bunch of garages. So now I've got a bunch. I don't remember how many I bought, like seven maybe? Because I didn't want to drain the account. I had like 
seven garages that I bought in one sitting, and they're all sitting there empty all around the southwest. We'll get them filled up with drivers and trucks eventually. Watch out, Greyhound. Coming through. Hopefully you're going to let me over there, buddy. I think the only reason I need to leave that GPS up, the pop-up, is because the dashboard GPS doesn't tell me my driver's income when they show up. I really like seeing the, the money as it rolls in. I just pretend it's my phone and I'm getting notifications that a job is done. Notifications coming from dispatch, and I just pretend the pop-up is my phone. Hope you're all doing well. I'm recording this on Tuesday in November 2022. It's the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. I have the day off, but my wife is working, uh, so I'm enjoying that in the house, getting to play some games without giving, without being given chores to do. My daughter from, is home from college. She's still quietly hanging out in her room. The dogs are being quiet for right now, so I get to do some gaming. This will be just a normal travel video we'll just talk about whatever pops into my head I had a idea of something to talk about for Halloween and never got to it so we'll probably talk about that along the way give me a couple minutes to think about what I'm gonna say about it and then we'll open up that topic from the writing journal let's hop out here and see if we can drive this thing a little bit from the outside I just stole a peek at the map the blah 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 I just stole a peek I can't even talk. I just stole a peek at the map. And it looks like we're going to be highway driving the whole way to Texas. We're going I-5 all the way down to L.A. And then hopping on the I-10 and going all the way to San Antonio. We'll be on I-35 going south out of San Antonio for just a couple of miles before we get to our destination. So, thank goodness. Easy highway miles. We'll take that. So when I picked up this load, it said it was glass. How am I hauling glass on a drop deck with tarps? Hmm. Must be some special glass. That'll give you a chance to see more of the view. Not that awful TV show, I mean the scenic view. The rippling water underneath. We wouldn't have seen that from inside the cab. We got some moo cows over there. We are trucking. Oh, that would be a great name for a trucking company. We are. W E R. We are trucking. You get to answer the phone. We are trucking. How can I help you? It's cool if you look at that nose mirror on the passenger side, you get to see the undercarriage of those trucks and trailers. That's pretty cool. This is what I love about the 55 mile an hour speed limits. I can set it at 59 and just pass people all day long. I gotta find a gas station. Fishy, fishy. I don't think I've ever seen a job that was 2,000 miles away. I've already been driving for a couple hours. It's 38 hours still to go. How long was this trip when I started? My goodness. Uh, coming up on the inspection station. That must mean we're getting to California. Which I actually don't mind. The 55 mile an hour speed limit makes it just kind of an easy drive. It's just a long drive through that state. It's such a huge state when you're going all the way from the north end to the south. See if I can maximize this diesel that I got, not have to slow down or speed up too much. Because I am on fumes. Watch out, red car.
You're behind me, you... Well, still 7%. Guess I can't complain. Alright, let's get off here and go gas up. And it's raining. Hey, the fuel's gonna be expensive, but at least it's raining. If I ever go away from this truck configuration, with the long frame and the triple axle in the back, the lift axle, it'll probably be because I want more fuel capacity. I'm gonna have to change it up if I want more long haul capability. Well, since my daughter's home from college, I was going to have her pretend to be a hitchhiker and take her along, but now that the dog knows she's here and awake, the dog is yiping and barking like crazy, so maybe there won't be much talking on this video. We'll see. Back there at the gas station when I was talking about the truck configuration, I had to keep starting over because the dog kept barking. Hello, crickets. It's getting dark out. Let's uh, find a place to rest for the night. $700 from Emma Watson. I swear I think they get half of these company driver names from celebrities. I got another driver named Scarlett J. I just keep thinking of Scarlett Johansson every time I see her. There's not a rest stop any time coming up, so I might as well stop here while it's still kind of light out. There we go. That'll let me rest. I'm gonna drive out of here the wrong way and just top off real quick. All right, boys and girls, day two of our Texas trip. Let's see where it takes us to today. So for day two of the trip, I think we're gonna do some pretending while we're driving. I heard once that truckers are kind of disappointed that kids don't give them the arm pump anymore to honk their horn. I remember doing that as a kid. We'd be traveling on the interstate with the family, sitting in the back seat, bored out of our minds. Before the days of handheld video games, basically all we had was a deck of cards or, I don't know, nothing else. We'd get some paper and play war, you know, the game of war where you fold the paper over and draw a really dark dot with a pencil and it's kind of like the poor kids version of Battleship and then we would pass the time pumping our arms trying to get the truckers to honk at us so for day two of this trip we're gonna honk at all the cars that pass us and pretend that the kids are sitting in the back seat asking for it so let's see how many cars pass us so we can honk the horn on this lovely Wednesday day traveling through California oh see that little guy was pumping his arm there's another kid wanting to honk can barely see that little girl in the back of a Mustang. Yeah, we're not doing that to a cop. Now that I'm out of that left lane, maybe we can see some more kids to honk at. 
I gotta be honest, I thought there'd be a lot more cars than this. I mean, I don't know exactly what number we're at, but I've been driving for a few hours now. I've only had a dozen, maybe? That's what it feels like, anyway. I literally lost count at like three or four. There's a kid. <laughs> Getting a bunch all at once. on the local street to get on the 10. We are just south of LA. Oh, I didn't have to get on a local street. I could have gone straight up to 10. What the heck? Why is it making me do this? It would have been way quicker just to go that way. I don't understand why it's put me on the surface streets. I could have just gone up to the next exit. That was the 10. Here I am, just following directions like an idiot. Well, I'm not going to be honking anybody while I'm in town. End of my second day is coming up. That was kind of fun. There was one instance where there were two 
I was on a, oh boy, going really fast. There were three lanes going in my direction. I was in the slow lane and there was two cars passing me in the other two lanes at the same time. Both of the kids were pumping their little arms, wanting me to honk my air horn, so I honked it. It was funny, both of the kids thought I was honking at them, so kind of one of those two birds, one stone kind of thing. I'm only stopping right now because I just hit that 24 hour mark. Now that I'm less than 24 hours, I'll stop for the night. Also, don't forget, the whole point of today honking at the little kids was to remind you as adults to teach your kids to pump their little arms to make the truckers honk their horns. Because the truckers miss it. They want to see your kids smiling when they pump their arms and then they blow the air horn and make them happy.